Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 is a superhero film directed by James Gunn and stars Chris Pratt, Zoe Saldana, and Kurt Russell. Right off the bat, I was going to say that this film is not as good as the first one. The second film is still good, but it just doesn't have the same impact, drive, or grandiose that the first one did. Here, it doesn't feel like they made a big splash like they did with the first one. And in this film, you don't go to as many planets as you did in the first films. And honestly, I just wanted this film to be like the first one. Like, not copy it entirely, but make it more grander, make it more epic, make it go all out. But what I got with this film is still fine, it's just this film didn't have the punch like the first one did. The comedy, like the first film, is hilarious. I was laughing my ass off to every single one of the jokes. Performance-wise, everyone does a phenomenal job, although character-wise, not so much. Of the five core characters that got developed in this film, only Star-Lord was the only character that got a certain type of development. And I get it, he's the main protagonist, he's the leader of this group, of course he's the one that should get the most development. At least with the first film, they explored all five characters' backstories and what makes them special and unique. Here, it just seems like they only developed the story of Star-Lord and that's it. And yes, while the other four characters do have some developments, they're only minor and they're not major like Star Wars character. Another thing that this film was lacking was the action scenes. They weren't as impressive as they were in the first one. And I know I'm making constant callbacks to the first film, but the first one tried a little bit more. I don't know, I can see people not having a problem with this, but for me this film is just lacking across the board. And I know I'm digging into this film a little bit too much and I'm being a bit too harsh on it. It's only because, in my opinion, it doesn't live up to the first one. So I will get to the stuff I like, but one more thing that bothered me was... This film was a little bit boring. Now, there were plenty of exciting moments that were very blood-rushing, but the middle section of the film is where it slows right down. And unlike the first film, this one just throws a shit ton of exposition at you that could have been explained within 10 minutes. And I do think this film is way too long. It's nearly two and a half hours long. I do feel like they could have cut some of it. Like some of this exposition stuff, they could have, you know, shortened down and could be told to us within a few minutes. But they take a long time to spew this exposition out. And a lot of the exposition stuff takes a majority of the middle section of this film and it slows the film right down. And while the beginning of the movie and the ending of the movie was fine, the middle section just dragged on and on and on and it was boring, to say the least. Also, there was never a clear villain in the film. Like, for those who've seen the film, you know who the villain is, but we were never given a clear look at who the villain is. And then in the last act, it's dropped on us like that. And don't get me wrong, I liked the villain. In fact, I think this villain was better than the one in the first Guardians of the Galaxy movie. Mainly because it had something to do with the actor, but also because the villain had a personal connection to our main protagonist. And like I said, Star-Lord gets a really good development of his character here. Alright, now that I've got all my bad stuff out of the way, let's get into the stuff I really liked. Like I said, the comedy, like the first film, was freaking hilarious. The performances by all the actors were phenomenal, and the soundtrack is fantastic. So overall, I had a fun time with this film. While it's not as good as the first one, it's not bad either. Like, there's never really a bad Marvel movie from this studio now. And like I said, while there are some things that do irritate me, like the long exposition scenes, the action scenes that aren't as good as the first one, and some pretty weak character developments, this is still a fun movie, and if you're a fan of the first Guardians of the Galaxy film, this film is worth checking out. And I'm going to give Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 a 7 out of 10. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see, be sure to like my Facebook page, follow me on Twitter, and subscribe to my channel below. As always, I'm Netix5. Thank you so much for watching.